The FLQ, Front de Libération du Québec, or in English, Quebec Libertation Front, was a separatist group of Quebec that wanted a free Quebec from Canada. But not only a free Quebec, but a communist Quebec. The group started in 1963 and ended in 1970. The group was dissolved due to the lack of support by the people. The Grebel group was formed by Georges Schotters and Norman Roy, and a few others. The FLQ would get their funding by robbing banks. The FLQ's first attack was on March 7th of 1963, when three Molotov cocktails were sent off at guards, but no damage was done. The second attack, on April the 1st of the same year, was damaging a part of the railway that went from Montreal to Quebec City. Again, no real damage was done. Attacks like this happened a lot during the 60s, but in October of 1970, the FLQ kidnapped Pierre Laporte, a provisional cabinet minister, and the diplomat of the United Kingdom, James Cross. During all of this, support was strong for the FLQ, but when it came out that the FLQ killed Pierre, the support stopped. During the October crisis, the name of the event, Prime Minister Trudeau, no, the other one, used the Wars Measures Act, which is the only time in Canadian history that it has been used in peacetime. After a while of negotiations, the FLQ released Cross. Most of the kidnappers left Cuba. The rest were arrested. This ended the FLQ's reputation, and so it was dissolved. One of the demands of the FLQ during the crisis was the publication and broadcasting of their manifesto, which you can still read online. In conclusion, the FLQ was a group with dreams of a free and communist Quebec, yet failed to do their own errors. There have been over 160 violent incidents during the life of the FLQ and the death of 8 people. All of this gave them a bad light losing all of their support at the end.